Hi, my name is Rye Beth. I am from New York. I grew up with a single mother who told me to pursue my dreams no matter what it takes. If it's something I truly love, then that's what I need to do. So I started doing acting around the age of three. I did local theater as much as I could. I took a semester at RADA for a summer semester and studied theater and I felt like I never learned theater a day in my life. It was such an eye-opener. It was really such an amazing life-changing experience. And the reason I want to study at a great school like this is so I can further my craft and better myself as an actor. That's what I'm really looking for in this training. So. What I do for work is I work for a Comic-Con company called Showmasters, which is based in London. I help celebrity guests throughout the weekend. I am called a professional guest handler. So what I do is take care of the guests and all their needs for the weekend, sit with them, take their money, escort them to photo ops, autographs, everything like that. It's really rewarding because I get to talk to these actors and ask them, do you have any advice for a young actor? What can you tell me? And they, they have really given me great advice and that's so rewarding to be able to work with so many great people and I really love doing that. I also work for a game company part-time called GameStop so I sell video games so today I will be performing one of my favorite theater monologues from Richard the third Lady Anne no why when he that is my husband now came to me as I followed Henry's course when scarce the blood was well washed from his hands which issued from my other angel husband and that dead saint which then I weeping followed but when I say I look it on Richard's face, this was my wish be thou quoth thy curse, making me so young, so old a widow. And when thou weddest, let sorrow haunt thy bed, and be thy wife, if any be so mad, as miserable by the life of thee, as thou hast made me by my dear Lord's death. Lo, ah, oh, I can repeat this curse again. Even in so short a space, my woman's heart grows and good captain to his honey words, and proved the subject of my own soul's curse, which ever since hath kept my eyes from rest. For never yet, when out in his bed, have I enjoyed the golden to his sleep, but have been waked by his demorous dreams. Besides, he hates me for my father, Warwick, and will no doubt shortly be rid of me. My next monologue, which is my modern, is from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and it is Delphi. Avada Kedavra! Did you not understand? These are not childish games we are playing here. You are useful to me. Your friends are not. It took me a long time to discover your weakness, Albus Potter. I thought it was pride. I thought it was the need to impress your father. But then I realized your weakness is the same as your father's. Friendship. You will do exactly as you're told. Otherwise, Scorpius will die. Just like that spare did. Voldemort will return. And Ogreny will sit at his side just as it was prophesied. When spares are spared. When time is turned. When unseen children murder their fathers. Then will the Dark Lord return. Albus, the unseen child who will kill his father by rewriting time. And so, return the Dark Lord now. So those are my two monologues. I really hope to hear from you guys soon. And thank you so much for letting me audition for your wonderful school. Thank you.